Alrighty, we're back, and um, I've got it. So I've got what we need. And so what we need is super simple. And um, I was just must I just must have been drawn a blank or was really tired or something. It was late after all when I recorded episode 25 or part 25. Um, so let's uh, get right into it. So I've got our blueprints, everything that we need up except for our character. So we're going to go over to blueprints and open up our guy. But we won't use him right now. All right, so let's get everything in order. So we go to uh, uh, just our gun, if you guys still have it there, and uh, or the base weapon, whichever one. Not the assault rifles, not the child's. We want the parent class. So base weapon or our gun or uh, stuff like that. Um, or a duplicate that you've made. Anyways, so we're going to go over here, and then we're going to go to the fine muzzle. And so what I found that he did is he did all this stuff. And I'm like, well, I guess I could just copy it over. But really, all we need is this right here, get socket transform. Because that's that orange line that feeds right to muzzle socket transform, which is what he gets. And that is like the only time that he actually changes it. So how we are going to implement this is a little bit of just uh, socket trickery. So let's go over to our guy. And on fire, just uh, set can fire to true. And uh, actually, we don't want that. Right? So we've got this and everything, whatnot. Uh, our our laser, and then we'll drag this off and get our socket transform. Now, before we had, we don't need any of this. Now we had this to make it go forward, um, shoot forward, but we need none of this now. So, uh, collision handling, you can do a default, you can have it always spawn, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna have it right there. And so now we look at this. And we could change the scale, which I'm going to do, but hold on. Uh, so just keep it on RTS World and whatever your socket name. But for us, if you're using the stuff that I'm using, it is Muzzle. Let's hop over to our Sniper Skeleton, uh, or whatever skeleton, whatever mesh you're using. Go over to its skeleton and make sure its uh, pitch, or its Z axis, the blue one here, is 90 just change your, your pitch to 90 so that way it's facing that way and then we'll sca scale it down to more of a bullet size oh gosh um let me think i don't know why it's doing that that's really weird but we'll do like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Actually, we'll do it even less. Um, we'll do. I do want this stretch out, so we'll stretch. We'll stretch that out. That X will, or the Y, the Y will be two, and then that will be. Yeah, 0 0.09 looks fine. 0 0.09. For like the laser shooting out. Okay. So now, and then we can add, you can add your own collisions to uh, this. No, not this. To the, to your bullet. Um, but uh, yeah. So it'll change, it'll sh stretch that. And uh, let's get into it. Let's or let's go to our um, bro dude, and we want on left click. So let's find our left click. Uh, sprinting jump mouse inputs. I guess that's it. Um. So what we'll do is. Stretch that over and set firing to true, and we'll cast to scratch gun. 
and get actor. Um, oh no, not actor. Get pawn. Get player pawn, right? Probably gonna give me a warning. Yep, of course. Um, actually, we don't even need a cast. We'll add. We'll call it new gun. Yay, new gun, and that 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 is me. That means not. Um, the exclamation po point means not. Um, and of course we want it to be our scratch gun. Right on. Compiler up. Now, no. Jeez. We'll get that, and then we'll say set. Uh, can fire to true. We'll dupe that over and make that there. And false. So released, false, pressed, true. We'll set up firing modes later, but that is what we want for now. And we can try it out. So Let's go over here. Uh, oh, okay, I was gonna say, hope it doesn't crash. Um, hello. Huh? That's kind of messed up. Huh, let me think. Okay, so. Do you guys know why this isn't working? Because I don't. Um, let's see. Everything's on bro, dude. Hmm. 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 Wait, scratch. scratch gun. Let's get class. Delete that. Let's see if we can set. Nope. Okay, that's much better. I don't want to index all that crap. I want to save it. Hmm. This is confusing because there's nothing in here that's saying that should not allow it. To. Are you recording? Cause mommy wants you to yes, I am recording. Why are you coming in here? Mommy wants you to get the mail. Mom, I'm recording! Okay, so I did solve it. Um, I just took a random break there without even saying anything because... Um, anyways, sorry. If, if people don't like that, just tell me, man. I won't do it ever again. But what we have, as of now, is pretty much what we had um, with, our, with our gun or the assault rifle, the base weapon. So we can just shoot like normal. And... Uh, Shoots pretty fast. You can uh, we'll 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 change firing speeds and everything. We'll get very complex into this. Um, at least as complex as you guys want to go. Just tell 
tell me what you guys there's no real specific order in which i have to do any of this really and if there is i'll be like and i'll tell you in the comments i'll be like well you gotta do this first and blah 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 uh so why don't i get to those things and then we can get to your request but if it's something which it most likely will be where it's kind of just like well there's nothing stopping me from do that so sweet let's let's do it that's what i'll totally do um, so yeah, now I can't drop this because it's just being really weird. There we go. Um, so yeah, it's just adorable shooting, and, uh, it's pretty on target, I, I want to say. Uh, you can do a line trace if you want. Uh, we don't have to do a line trace, but it shoots, uh, straight out of the barrel. Straight out of the barrel. So we'll probably change. We'll probably change the crosshair. You guys can change the crosshair, but I won't, um, cause just e e it's whatever format. Um, but of course, with this, you'll have to change all the different properties and whatever. But of course, we'll get to all of that. So and of course, our weapon uh, is very limited in the ammo and everything. We don't have any of those properties set up for reloading and whatnot. Uh, but we can we we know how to set that up. But uh, yeah, so let's show y'all how to do that. So um, we'll go and uh, on our bro dude, we'll go to the left click and we'll get our fire. Now you'll see this condition here. Don't worry about it right now. But we'll at the very beginning get the fire. Okay, branch it off the new gun. Get the fire. Now what we want to do is on this drag the branch condition onto that false can't fire true do all that crap we do not need that okay so on our vent graph we can delete all of this because this is useless to us as of now a tick our bro dude as a player pawn getting our firing and it want we want to use we want to say, okay, well, if we're firing, which is left click on that side, we want to set it to true over here. So we'll do all that cool stuff, and then we'll make it the condition as well as the branch, just double assurance. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't duplicate the fire or anything. It doesn't make you shoot twice as fast. Uh, I did have these, if you can get this kind of stuff to work, just demoing like you could have uh, a, tr a trigger pull and trigger release uh, stuff, but I'm not actually... I personally am not going to use those so I was just that was just something I made to show to you guys anyways uh, and so yeah and it works like a charm so uh, other than that there's not too much that I had planned for this episode but beyond uh, getting the shooting to work properly so you guys can goof around with that maybe if you guys already were like well that's all I really needed that's fine uh, you can stick around for the other episodes of other stuff because, um, of course, I'm not going to be working specifically on, hey, let's make our own gun today. Um, so that's not all it's going to be. Also, on the bullet, you might want to turn off shadows because a glowing bullet does not produce shadows. So you might want to do that. And I'll do that real quick. But uh, that's pretty much all. Once again, if you guys do have specific, uh, you know, requests on, hey, can you help me fix this? Or if it's just outright um, wanting the uh you know wanting some specific thing done as an entire episode or a couple things done in an episode per se uh if that's something else you guys would want um i can totally do that um one last thing i would like for you guys to do is um if uh let me think um Yeah, on this we want to, if we begin collision, uh, if it just if it runs into something, just destroy. Um, destroy. I can't spell. Sorry. Destroy the actor, so that way every time it just runs into it runs into whatever. Um, Yuku. So that should work just fine, hopefully. Yes. Oh, it doesn't look like it's shooting through.
Um, I don't believe it is. Shooting through the window, that's because... Oh, it's the window. And it does what it wants. But, uh, yeah, that'll be all for this episode. Uh, please come, come back for more awesomeness. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.